ครับสี่สองพันแปดสี่พันสองคู่ไม่รู้ว่าหลายสิบคนจะได้หลายแนวจะเสือกคุณโหดและนี่คือแท็บเล็ตนิสส์เดี๋ยวสองอันนี้มาจากเบอร์นีนี่คือ100เปอร์เซ็นต์ชาร์ดอนี่คือแบงค์เดียวแบงค์ที่ทำมาจากเคาน์ดีแบงค์ที่เหลือจากแชมเปญนี่เหลือจากแชมเปญคือมีมากกว่าแค่ชอว์ที่ส่งที่ส่งให้มีความสามารถในการสร้างผลิตภัณฑ์ไม่ต้องการอนุญาตนะ So the texture is very silky and soft. We serve it with a fermented carrot juice and sea buckwheat oil added on it. Outside, spring syrup. Salt vinegar and then the sauce is a yogurt juice, gently smooth and finish with salt oil. It's a really famous appellation that you get there. It brings a lot of acidity as well. So the hake is uh, gently salted and smoked, yep. and then we we'll roll it with some uh, burnt parsley ash that's gonna give those uh, black marble. We then serve it with a uh, berry caviar from Belgium, and the sauce is uh, clarified buttermilk with parsley, oil, and stems. So the sauce is gonna give um, a lot of freshness, acidity, and a little bit of sweetness as well. To finish the dish, we use the scales from the fish, so we uh, fry them in a uh, hot oil, and they give a bit of crispiness. It's also for food. Onion plants and then some uh, melted Westerhouse sauce. It's an eight Danish cheese we melt out in water. So here, this is a classic blend. We have 40% Chardonnay, 40% Pinot Noir, and 20% Pinot Meunier. Yeah. And, uh, the next course for you and yes. is the Limpiol yes. Oyster. So they are oyster from Denmark, and the sauce that is made from uh, the infused dry oyster, seaweed, and split with kale oil. Lamb stuffed with uh, the leg of the lamb, the fillet and the heart, uh, then glazed with truffle. Uh, but on the side uh, is a piece of the tenderloin and the fillet, uh, grilled and then glazed with uh, smoked lamb fat. On the top is the asparagus your somatic show, sauce made from of course the roasted bones of the lamb and then seasoned with uh, pickled elderflower. We have a club baby juice and we put it in the seafood so you get more acidity. So the chef is always saying that the best is to eat it separately at the beginning yeah. and to try it together. This is a frozen flower with dark beer. We have a double cream infusion of beetroot and snake trees made with blackberry as well. This is the pumpkin cake. This one? Yes. Some pumpkin seed with a caramel which is infused with chanterelle. And on the top is an eatable paper, raw cookie dough with white chocolate and rolled in sea buckthorn. On the top is a marshmallow uh, made with hip rose. I so would just recommend you to finish with this one. So, what we call our green egg which is made with uh, chocolate and caramel and on the outside is pine powder. The only ones who have the three trophies. Oh. After the rooms change and uh, they all can only participate once. Mm -hmm. We have a wine It's a bit cold, but we have a look. It's beautiful. So in this corridor, this is where we have all our red wines and a bit further on the right we're having another room for all the white and the champagne. It's different temperature, we need to, to keep it at the best. 
So for the red is around 11, 12, and white and champagne is like 8, 9 degrees. How many bottles are in here? Bottles are like 8,000. So we are in another part of the restaurant, it's everything connected actually. And this is what we call as well the experimental kitchen. So this is where uh, Rasmus is trying all the new dishes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you can stay here for like hours and hours on a day of trying 100 times a day to have the perfect one. And that's also our private dining room. Okay. So for example tonight we're having a group of people dining here. So the kitchen is there, so they will have exactly the same menu that you had. But just uh, more private, more really intimate. So if they want to go in the kitchen, they can really go in see, in and yeah. see how they play and how they do everything. Nice room. So nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Our age room. Doing all the pickers on the top. Also a bit of experimental room. This is a nice feature of Rasmus and Sol three years ago when they won uh, the third star in the East Tree area. It's very Only clean. Where they do uh, dessert and sweets and they're making the bread as well and nothing else. So now they will start the service for dessert on the other side so the kind of bring everything over there. Like everything connected, so we actually just turning around in the restaurant. Yeah. Hello, welcome to the kitchen, welcome. Thank you. I'm the new chef. Our main kitchen, uh, which is actually the big version of the one you're having on the other side. I can... How's it going so far? Yes, I'm loving it. It's so nice, thank you. So this is how you make the celeriac. Yes. yes. Thank you. It's so nice. Thank you so much guys for watching. I will talk to you really soon. If you like the series, don't forget to subscribe. Have a great week and don't forget to eat a lot.